All right, y'all, I want to um, address a situation right now. And this is somebody I have responded to in the past. But now it's just going on way too far. And uh, this young man needs to be, this bad needs to be checked, man, because now you're going too far. And this is not even a young man. This is an older gentleman that's responding to a young man that just we see out of cardiac arrest. And my prayers is going out to Bronny. I hope he's doing better and I hope that he can still play uh, basketball because uh, he's in college now he's a young man now you compete amongst other freshmen you compete amongst sophomores and juniors and maybe a couple of seniors to try to get rotation now this is not a uh, this is not high this ain't this ain't Sierra Karen no more this is a whole nother game and NCAA basketball is just as intense as the NBA I'm going to tell you that now. Especially now because players are now getting paid. They signed in a contract and they're now getting paid to play. So now the stakes are even higher. And a lot of these coaches are looking for the best of the best. The cream of the crop is going to represent them on game nights. You know, the best uh, 12, uh, 12 to um, 14 are going to play and represent Whichever uh, school, university, or city they're representing. Now, Bronny just recently had a cardiac arrest the other day ago. It was in critical condition. Uh, I've been told that he's stable now. But right away, that clown, Carcino for Life, who don't do nothing but sit at home all damn day, just all day long. For hours I'm talking about hours This man goes live For a whole hour Talking against athletes Such as LeBron James For example Because Bronny is the uh, Son of LeBron But not just saying He talks about Gilbert Arenas Which I didn't like I told you When the man went out here To Bakersfield in California Trying to clown uh, Gilbert Arenas I had to check him for that Because you making uh, California brothers look weak But yet you don't want to call out Gibbon Arenas, but don't want to uh, tell Gibbon Arenas your hotel room. But this is the same cartoon that's talked against Steven Jackson, with that Matt Barnes, everybody that Corey Brown didn't like. And let me just, and speaking of Corey Brown, let me just say this here. If you're Corey Brown, it's time to check Carcino for life, because Carcino is not representing that man at all. Like you, if you Corey Brown, why would you let Carcino for life shout you out and he talking about another man's son? Like, if you Corey Brown, it's time to start uh, holding Carcino accountable for the wrong things he's doing. Because he's not representing you good at all. Because you don't hear Corey Brown talking about Bronny the same way. And this is Corey Brown. He's a former athlete. Like LeBron James, he came out of high school at 18 years old. So, if you Corey, if you Corey Brown, it's time to start uh, checking Carcino. It's time to call that man out. Because Carcino for Life had no right to, open, to say it in his own mouth, I'm praying for Savannah, I'm praying for Brian, I'm praying for his brothers, sisters, I'm praying for his family, but I'm not going to pray for LeBron James. And that's the fruit of LeBron James' loins. Brian comes from uh, LeBron. If it wasn't for LeBron, Brian wouldn't even be here. So you talk down on Brian on multiple videos. Carcino has like 2,000 videos about LeBron James. Talk about him negatively. Now, one positive thing is said about LeBron James, except for maybe one video, and that was the first video he's talking against Gilbert Arenas. And the, the stuff he said about Gilbert Arenas with uh, Shaq, Gilbert, Gilbert Arenas never had beef with Shaq like that at all. That's all a lie. Okay, so uh, Gilbert, uh, Kanye, uh, uh, Garcino don't do nothing but talk about, um, talk about Gil in a negative light, right? You say all these videos about Gilbert Arenas negatively, but now you're doing um, Gilbert Arenas the same way you've been doing LeBron. Just don't do nothing but talk. And it's all opinionated. Most of that stuff is not even factual. But for you to open up your mouth saying, I'm praying for everybody else except LeBron, that's not even what God would want you to do. Carcino, for life, you in the wrong. Mr. Kevin Davis, you in the wrong for that. Brother, you need to repent. Like, seriously. 
You're using God's name in vain. Because the Bible says, love thy enemies. LeBron may be an enemy to you, but you still put to love on him like God loves you. Now, this is a man whose son had a heart attack, a cardiac arrest on the court and collapsed. And what's crazy is that you got on Skip Bayless' head like everybody else did about how he treated DeMar Hamlin in that situation. Now, matter of fact, let's go, let's go back to football season. In December, when DeMar Hamlin collapsed, you know, he had that cardiac arrest the same way um, Bronny did, but in a different way. Because DeMar Hamlin is actually hitting against somebody. He made a tackle against a guy bigger than him. This was in the Cincinnati Bengals game when the Buffalo Bills was um, playing him. When DeMar Hamlin had that collapse for like nine minutes and everybody was shocked, the whole world was shocked. And Skip Bayless said that thing about DeMar, and he don't understand why they postponed the game. He thinks they should keep playing. And every athlete in the world, everybody, black and white, and other um, races got on, on um, Skip Bayless for how he handled that situation. Now, the next morning, Carcino, you was the first one to report on saying you're not going to watch Undisputed no more. You, you, you actually did that. That's the one thing I honored about you. Because you actually took account, you actually took in the fact that you, you saw how a black man was being treated wrongly by a, a older Caucasian man that's in his 70s, in between 60 and 80 years old, and talking that way about a young black man who collapsed and almost lost his life. So that, that gave me a little bit more respect for you. But to see you do this about LeBron, this man, could, like Bronny, God forbid, Bronny could have could have uh, could have lost his life. Cause that's serious. So for Bronny to have collapsed like that, and this is LeBron James that's under enough pressure as it is, right? Because see, Bron then lost uh, out on his fifth championship ring. This man just got swept by the Denver Nuggets, got embarrassed. He didn't win not one game against the Joker and Jamal Murray. In that Denver Nuggets team that's coached by Mike Malone. This is LeBron James. If I had to hear Mike Malone say, Who's your daddy? at his um, championship award speech when they had their parade. When the um, Nuggets were celebrating in Denver, Colorado, you know, they're, um, they're a basketball team that just brought a championship like the uh, Denver Broncos did in 2015 in Super Bowl 50. They're another franchise to bring home the award. Even the, ba even the baseball team, right? The baseball team has also won a World Series. So them finally winning a championship just like the baseball team and the, uh, and the football team. They can finally say they champions after 47 years of trying. And hear Mike Malone say, who's your daddy? Which got LeBron James furious and fired up. So he's already pissed off at that. This is why LeBron James said he's not ready to retire yet because he has unfinished business. So LeBron is already mad at that. But now for his son to have accepted going into USC and trying to start on that team, for him to collapse like this, what do you think LeBron James is feeling right now? LeBron James is under a lot of um, worrying right now. He's concerned for his son's health. The man he raised this whole time. The young man he born into the world and raised him up for 18 years. Right, Made sure he get the best education. He saw his son graduate high school. Had his prom and everything. And to see his son collapsing like that. And Carcino, for you to say you're not praying for this man. That's wrong, brother. That's completely out of line. You are in the wrong and you owe that man an apology. You owe the whole James family an apology. Because Carcino, do you think that. Do you think that LeBron. We want you to talk about his father like that. Like forget how LeBron James would feel about this. Why do you think Bronny would feel? Huh? Come on, Mr. Kevin Davis, I'm talking to you. Because, brother, lately you've been doing some, like, out-of-bounds stuff. That's just, just embarrassing to black people in general. Brother, it's like you 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 in the wrong. You you, you out of line for this, man. You're going way too far. Lately, you've you, you just been taking it too far. We understand you don't like LeBron at all, right? We understand that. When it comes to somebody's child, if you ain't got kids of your own, which you don't, now, Kevin Davis, you don't have a, a single child of your own. You ain't been married. You don't have a wife. You don't even have an ex-wife that you communicate with about any type of business. 
You're not married. You don't have no children, let alone any grandchildren. We don't see you with no nieces or nephews. The only child we ever see you with is with Gavin. That's supposed to be your godson. Because we know your best friends with his moms and his uh, pops. We see Gavin's mother on your videos or on your channel. We, we understand that. But we don't see you doing no coaching. We, we don't see you with any other kids outside of Gavin that are black, that long. So who are you to tell LeBron James how he should be raising his own child? You know, that, that's why I'm still trying to figure this out. Because I even checked you about how you talked about giving reasons to um, children. Here, giving reasons is buy his daughter a brand new Porsche for a sweet 16. Which he can actually do because that's him being a good father. And this is Gilbert that explained that the reason why his, uh, his business is the way it are now because it's geared towards having his children make money. He did say that. Gilbert Arenas is making way for his children, his, his, um, his kids to make money. So all the stuff that Gilbert Arenas do for his kids, yeah, you still talk about Gilbert Arenas being a bad father. Talking about what this man should do with his own sons in a private school. But yet, Kevin Davis, you have no child. And I'm comparing Gilbert Arenas because you're doing the same thing to LeBron. LeBron could have lost his son out there on that basketball court for whichever reason. It ain't got nothing to do with steroids. It ain't got nothing to do with him putting pressure. If LeBron want to put pressure on his son, he can damn well do it. LeBron born Bronny in the world. That's his son. LeBron James has every right to treat his son the way he want to treat him because that's, that's his child. LeBron had to raise his child. Again, Cena, how are you talking about... Again, Kevin, how are you talking about LeBron James' son like that? Right? How are you blaming LeBron James for what happened to Bronny? They ain't got nothing to do with LeBron. Let's make that one thing very clear. Bronny collapsed like that and had nothing to do with Bron at all because they're not even in the same area. Bron wasn't at practice, bruh. And I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it all the way 100. Bronny has an athlete has an athletic scholarship to live in a dorm at USC. Bronny stays in a dorm. He either he, he's either A stays in a dorm or B he has his own apartment. Bron Bronny got his own money. Again, his dad is rich. Whatever his dad has, Bronny going to have too. So let's get out the way now. Kevin, you're being way too nosy. That's why we call you Pig Sino. You just like Bookman off of good times. Nosy as he can be. Best believe, Bronny, Bronny got money. Not only from his dad, but he, got, he has a full ride academic scholarship. These players are getting paid to play basketball. So I guarantee you, USC is paying Bronny to play for their school. Just like Deion Sanders, children are making money off Colorado. Deion Sanders is, 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 yeah. Matter of fact, look at Deion Sanders. I don't see you talking about Deion and what he's doing for his son. Deion Sanders is coaching um, Shador Sanders now. Before I continue, right? Before I continue, ain't Deion Sanders coaching his son Shador? Right? Huh? You don't think Shador is under pressure right now? That's in, uh, he's, in the, he's, in the pack, he's in the Pac-12, one of the hardest divisions in football. In the same division as USC and, and Utah in Oregon State. You think Shador Sanders is under a lot of pressure right now from his father, Dion, who's coaching him, and he's a starting quarterback? Come on now. But while we're on the subject, since you talk about, you know, Bron putting all this pressure on uh, Bronny, now Shador has not passed out yet. Thank God. But no, Bronny has just collapsed and is in the hospital right now as we speak. But how are you going to say uh, Bron is putting pressure on Bronny when LeBron is not even there coaching him? LeBron not at that gym. Carcino, he's not. Bron is worried about his own practice. Bron is worried about the Lakers. That's his business. Somewhere Bron is training along with Austin Reeves, Anthony Davis, you know, uh, Hachi Moore and the rest of that team on how they're going to beat Denver next season. That's where Bron's attention at. Bronny don't stay with his father. I guarantee you, Bronny has moved out of that house and is staying in either in a dorm or he's staying in a condo near USC. And I'm up there uh, every day delivering for the hospital because I work in the medical field. So I deliver for the, uh, the hospital of Keck where a lot of students are working and putting in some hours to get their degree towards their bachelor's or master's in, their, um, in the medical field. 
So I work for the um, the doctors there at Keck USC. It's still near the campus. So I pass through there every day. Yeah, Bronny's the biggest thing over there. But I guarantee you, Bronny has his own place, his own room, his own kitchen, his own bathroom. No, Bronny ain't under the pressure of his dad because his pop's not, not in the picture like that. No, Bronny, Bron's going to let Bronny be his own man. Bronny's under, pressure, under uh, pressure of his head coach. Bronny's under the pressure of his teammates that he has to compete against for a starting spot. Bronny's under pressure trying to, uh, trying to beat UCLA, trying to beat Oregon, Oregon State, and Utah, and Washington. That's the type of pressure Bronny's in under other kids his age. And because he's the son of LeBron James, there are going to be other young men ready to beat him, to prove themselves. Bronny is under pressure of these scouts, right? He ain't got nothing to do with Bron. Now, LeBron wants to play with his son, that's his own decision. He has every right to say that and feel that way about his child because that's his child. If that's, if that's LeBron James' son to have Bronny on the same team as him, then he can say that. But, Carcino, you, you can't blame Bron for everything. Now, this year, you can't blame Bron for that. Bron would not want his son collapsing like that when no father want their son to collapse like come on now man Let, let's just stop it because carcina for life mr kevin davis what makes you think that Bronny don't want to be better than his father huh let, let, let's, let's let's just call it for what it is how you know that Bronny is not inspired to try to go in the nba and be better than his pops huh because my personal opinion i don't think Bronny is going to be on the um, I don't think Bron Bron's going to be on the same team as Bronny. By the time Bronny gets into the NBA, Bron going to probably be retired. I'll be very honest. Bron may want to play on the same team as Bronny, but Bronny may stay all, th all may stay three to four years. I don't even think Bronny even wants to be in the NBA when his dad plays. Bronny might stay three to four years and fully develop, like Kyle Kuzma did before Kyle Kuzma went to the Lakers. He, he stayed at um, Santa Cruz for like four years. At the college he was at. <laughs> Same thing with Jordan Clarkson. Those guys developed. They stayed two to three years before they was able to get reach the NBA. And I met Clarkson before. I met Clarkson. I met Randall and I met uh, DeAndre Russell before. I met all those cats. Because one of my old jobs, the hotel I was working for, uh, the manager who was a big Laker fan, Howard Wu. And he had those guys come there because he was a season ticket holder. But yeah, uh, no, Bronny is under pressure of college basketball, which Carcino's way different ball game. It's not like the NBA at all. Because those players are giving it they all. They only got four years to try to get a championship, and you're done. It ain't like the NBA where you got longevity, where you can uh, play all the way up until you're 40 years old, like Bron is trying to do. Right? You got multiple seasons to get it right and develop and try to go for a championship. You can just go to two different teams and switch, right, and try to be on a championship team with other players that you want to play with. Now, in college, a lot of these players, some of these players don't got that luxury. And here's the reality of it, Kevin Davis. There's players who won't see the NBA. They won't get drafted. They got to either go through the G League route or they got to go to the European leagues. There's players who won't get a chance to make the draft. Not like the, uh, not like Bron, Bronny has it. But no, Kevin Davis, you in the wrong for that, for real. And brother, you need to check yourself. You owe that family, you owe Savannah an apology. You owe Bronny an apology. Because real talk, if I'm Bronny, just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to keep it real. If I'm Bronny, when I get alive and well, I'm pretty sure people going to show him this video. Come on now, man. There's been supposedly videos of uh, LeBron on your lives, right? Because you keep talking about this man getting max views for it. You already got 200,000 something subscribers talking about LeBron James all the day. But if I'm Bronny, as soon as I get well and I'm recovering, I'm going to give a shout out to everybody, all my fan base, my teammates, the uh, USC Trojans organization, the whole school. Right. I'm going to give a shout out to my family, my father, Bron, my mom, Savannah. I'm giving shouts out to everybody if I'm Bronny. But the first chance I'm going to get to as soon as I'm done giving my shout outs and I'm thanking my family for, and my friends and my homies for my support, for praying for me, 
for being alive and well, just like Jamie Foxx recently did when he recovered from being sick. I'm going to address Carcino for life. Yeah. Carcino, if I'm running, I'm going to address you. And I'm going to tell you personally to keep my name out your mouth. Keep my dad's name out your mouth. Shut the you know what up. And he's probably not going to say it like that. But I'm thinking, if I'm running, Carcino, I'm addressing you personally. And I'm going to tell you to take down every video you got of, of me and my pops. Period. Every last video, take them down or else you're going to be hearing from my representatives. Because real talk, Kevin Davis, and I'm going to call you by your actual name. I'm not going to call you Carcino for, for, for I'm not, you know, Carcino for light now. Like, I'm going to address you as Kevin Davis. Mr. Kevin Davis, you, your channel deserves to be taken down. Including one crack news. At least one of them got to go. Because you're not representing the black community well at all. You're pissing a lot of people off. Matter of fact, you should you might as well should have not even mentioned LeBron James' name at all if you're gonna talk down on somebody. That's something you could have kept to yourself, bro. And I'm just being honest. Because to talk about that man's son, first of all, the man son is in the hospital right now. For LeBron James, that's bad enough as it is. You gotta deal with that. And for all we know, Bronny could have a heart condition. He could, he could have, have, have something wrong with him. I hope that's not the case. But people do have certain conditions that cause that, that to happen. We find out through the x-ray results and through doctor reports that DeMar Hamlin had a history of health problems. Which led up to him collapsing like that. But thank God he was alive and well and he's giving honor to God and, and saying it. And speaking of DeMar Hamlin, DeMar Hamlin was one of the first ones that tweeted out to a Bronny and gave his support for Bronny. Because again, he, he knows how that feels. He knows what it's like to collapse and heart stop. And see, while Bronny was collapsing, he probably saw God. So Kevin Davis, for you to be praying like that, but don't pray for his father. Not only is that disrespectful to Bronny, but it's, it's mad disrespectful to Bron, which you keep doing, but it's disrespectful to the fans. Matter of fact, you doing that, that's disrespectful to USC. You're not respecting the USC's coaching staff at all. The head coach of USC... How do you think he feels when you say that about his player? You see, Mr. Kevin Davis, like people like you get fired for doing that. Now, I know you're not working a normal job, right? You're not on ESPN. You're not on, you don't have no podcast. You know, you're not on Sirius XM or nothing like that. But that type of stuff gets people fired. Yeah, you, and then, yeah, people wonder why. That's why so many people are upset with Malika Andrews because she's doing the same thing. You're doing the same thing as Malika Andrews, bro. Y'all say things I was ever on your mind and you're not considering other people's feelings. Malika Andrews, another one should have been fired along with everybody else that got dropped. Like Kevin Davis, you making that video was just as bad as Malika Andrews. When she said that about that all, that young rookie that got drafted to the Hornets. That was just, that, bro, bro, that's just downright ignorant and stupid as hell. Yet you got all these videos talking about what black folks need to do and we need to do this and that and we need to love one another. But look what you just did, bro. You kick LeBron while he's down. And you talk about that man's son that just collapsed. And this is the same LeBron James that's been there for his child's life. Like Carcino for life. Mr. Kevin Davis, you know how many other athletes? Come on, Kevin, you know how many other athletes that are not named LeBron that wish they had a father like LeBron in their life growing up? You know how many athletes wish they had somebody pushing them like Bronny has? There's many athletes out there. Many of them, including my little brother, Christopher, whose dad and you know, our parents were separated. His dad was separated, right? Living in another state. Was not around to watch him play basketball because he was dealing with his other stuff. But my little brother, Christopher, still making some of himself despite that. There are many young men out here that didn't have a dad in their life because their father was doing God knows what. Probably locked up somewhere. Probably lost their life while he was an early age or probably strung out on drugs. There's fathers who refuse to be in their son's life. But yet LeBron James did what he had to do as a parent. Took care of his ch children. All, all of them. LeBron James was in his child's life. So Kevin Davis, for you to say that, bro, you need to check yourself. Your channel needs to, seriously, it needs to be taken down. Your whole channel needs to be flagged. It needs to be at least suspended for at least 30, 40 days. You need to be suspended for a month. I mean, inactive. No more live streams, none of that. Now, I know you got three channels. I exposed that already. You got three channels. You got your Kevin Davis channel. 
Because when you was going to get when Gim Marina said he was going to sue you, you switched channels. Now, one crack news, all that, talking about LeBron James, he to be gone. If I'm Bronny, I'm telling you, keep my name out my, out my mouth. Don't mention my father's name no more. Delete every video of me and my pops. If I'm Bronny, I'm doing it. And if you don't do it, you're going to be hearing from one of my attorneys. See, Bronny going to sue you for real. Or he can actually do that. But Kevin Davis, you brought shame to not only black folks, not only to the James family, but you brought shame to the USC organization. Like, Kevin, I don't think you realize what you even did before you do stuff. Like, do you think before you speak on such things? Kevin, since you sound like you're so intelligent, you act like you this and that and the other, that's what you come off as. You come off like you're a boss, like you know everything. You act like you're so smart. You act like you're so wise. But, brother, that was not wise. Because now you talk about a player from USC that's representing the USC Trojans. Imagine how his teammates is feeling right now. And they hear you talk about their teammate like that. Talking about LeBron James, the greatest, one of the greatest, like, I ain't going to say he's the top GOAT, but he's one of the GOATs. Let's just cut it real. LeBron James is a top 10 basketball player of all time. But LeBron James Jr., Bronny, right, is representing USC. So to me, Kevin, you dis you um you basically spit in the face of all these fans. The whole school talking about Bronny like that. To talk about a, a man, a, a player's father that raised him, again, that's not a good look, Kevin. So before I end this video, well, I'm going to pray for you, for real. And I'm going to ask God to forgive you. But you need to check yourself because to be talking about somebody saying you praying for that him and his family, but don't pray for his father who Bronny really loves. Come on, man. It's just it's bad. It's disrespectful. OK, but I'm going to end it here. But just letting everybody know um, Bronny is alive and well. He's in uh, he's recovering right now. So we hope that we can play again. I'm going to be watching him. I'm probably going to be covering one of his games when the season starts. Because I do watch college basketball and USC does have a chance to reach a championship. Matter of fact, I think a season ago, and it might have been last season, them and UCLA was just in uh, up there in the top four. They was they almost made it to, um, to the championship. It was deep in the Sweet 16. So USC, they need Bronny. Okay. So if you're the coach of that team and you're under a lot of pressure right now with Bronny going down like that. But anyways, that's the video, man. Y'all take care. God bless.